White line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey, everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and have we got a treat for y'all today. We're over at Bruce Mitchell's house from the Swamp People. And I called him, I said, Bruce, what you want to cook? He said, hey, let's cook some crawfish, let's cook some steak, let's cook some deer, let's cook some lobster, and that's what we're doing. It's going to be good. And Cajun Living and Cooking is fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all. Here we are with Bruce. How's it going, man? Pretty good, man. Been a while. Yep. Got a little blood. You got the dry hand there. Yeah, you got the good one. Uh, like I said, when you called last night, you said, what can I cook? And and uh, best thing I know, I made a hunt this week. I've been out and... Texas hunting actually and uh with Texas trophy hunters and them boys taught me took me around and we shot some good deer yes it did looks so, like I got on them I figured they ain't got a thaw nothing out this this deer was running yesterday so it's gonna can't run get, through some gravy today we, we're gonna run it through a little gravy and uh make a little stew here a little deer stew so what was neat when I asked him I said what you want to cook he said well I got deer I said well I said well what do you like he said well I like deer I like crawfish You're right I like lobster yep I like backstraps. Oh man, you can't go wrong with backstraps. No, no, ever. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do today, y'all. We got a pretty good meal coming up. Uh, too bad y'all not gonna get to taste any, but we're gonna have some good cooking going on. So, mm, so how do you cook your stew? What, uh, uh, what I'm doing? I'm deboning this this uh, this meat right now. I'm cutting in little cubes. I'm gonna brown this meat. Put a little oil in the pan. Brown it. Mm -hmm. I'll probably make a little roux. Make some gravy to go in it and put a few potatoes and carrots in it and uh hopefully i can get my wife to cook a pot of rice and uh it'll be on then yes indeed that sounds good we got some crawfish we're gonna ball oh, we're yeah. gonna cook some steaks so uh y'all hang on we fixing to get a fire lit right here big time big big time sir. Let me see all right y'all we fixing to season up some crawfish now uh bruce got a little concoction he uses there and uh, I got the yellow bag stuff that uh, I really like, so I'm going to use that. We're going to uh, get them seasoned up, get a little bit in there. I'm going to try to dump about half of this in here. That's about Yeah, we used to ball in a whole sack. Yeah. Let's see. That looked like about enough for me. Yeah, I'm just about there. Now, when I put my salt in, I'll taste it. It's probably yeah. the same thing you do. Just taste to see you got enough in there. Let me dump a little salt. They sent some beautiful crawfish, uh, hole in the wall, seafood, That's and Cajun said. meats. Yeah. Hole in the wall? Yeah. They doing uh, deer and stuff now, too. Yeah, well, good. I might bring some of my meat over there and get it processed. Yeah. That was some beautiful crawfish they sent over. Uh, really, really nice. Looked like they picked them out, but uh, they always got the best stuff around. Really, really good stuff. I'm going to need about three, four, five, six, seven tablespoons, a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit in there, and I'm going to come back and taste it. Yeah, I need to start That's what I'm going to do. We're going to get you a paddle. You know, you don't want to use this new paddle. This is what uh, Galvis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking sent you. This, man, they got engraved and everything, huh? Yeah, Mr. Ronnie and Donna, oh. they sent that for you. So you probably don't want to cook with that one, so I brought a spare. Oh, yeah, I would, I'm going to hang this one on my wall. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. Thank you all. Thank you, Ronnie. And and you shop in there too. You, I you shop go in there. And I buy get a lot stuff. of pots and all kind of stuff from there. That's, yeah. That's a good store to go to. They got a little bit of everything in this store. They I mean, do. They barbecue do. Barbecue grills, any kind of pot you want to cook with, any kind of cast iron. And if they don't have it, they can get it. Yeah. They can order it. That's yep. what I like. Because I see a weird something on the road I want, and that's all you do. You know, you just drop stop by a guy with his hardware and uh. Uh, they'll Donna hook will you find up. it for Yeah, you. she'll find it for She'll us. get it. She got it. Matter of fact, I ordered some stuff there. A couple months ago, I was passing through. I said, oh, I need this or that. Troop, whipped in there. Well, she I could have brought it for you. Yeah, I know, but I forgot. I just forgot <laughs> about it. And what I do, I order stuff, and she'll just hold it, and sooner or later, she knows I'm passing through, and I'll pick it up. 
got you. That well, is neat. We brought you something else too. What you got? Fella gave me a cool looking apron. Had a oh, duck man, on it. Look at that. That is he neat. said he's an alligator hunter. I said, man, he everything he got's got alligator on it. This is a fancy duck. This will be neat. Yep. So we put Cajun living and cooking, got your name on it. Oh man, got my name on it too. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna wear it up right now. Or, or skinning alligators or whenever no, you no, want to put it on. No alligators. Yeah, I'll cook in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, we got our seasoning in there. We're fixing to fire up these pots. We're going to get some crawfish cooking for y'all here in just a minute. Oh, yeah. Putting a couple of coals on there. Yeah, I can't see it with the wing going. Yeah. Right. What I'm doing is putting a few coals under the skillet here. Now, yeah. how, how do you know how many coals to put? Uh, I just put enough. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of brown some flour. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that in my stew. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put that right there and give it a few minutes. So you're going to brown your flour right here? Yeah, I'm going to brown my flour in this pot. Okay. And then we're going to end up with everything back over there. Yeah. We got some wind today, y'all. I have a little ashes in the flour there. Yeah, right. You're a technical measure guy like me. Real real technical. Uh, oh, yeah, you got to have a dish. Right? Yeah, just enough tablespoons in there. Yeah, we're not making a movie or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna dump a little flour in here and kind of brown this flour. And I always get too much, but the wind might blow some out. Yeah, so that's what I was there. thinking too. We got gale force winds out here. So you'll measure your flour and then you'll measure your, you're gonna put the oil from the, from yeah, the. Yeah, well, I got oil. I got this meat. See this meat simmering down right Uh-huh. I got this meat to cooking down. So you're gonna use the juice from that? Are you, oh yeah, you ain't gonna throw that juice away. That man, that's a good stuff in there. Yeah, but what yeah. we're gonna do, I'd like to put a little seasoning in here. How about using some of Kyle Blanchard's? That's what I'm gonna do, use some of Mr. Blanchard's seasoning right here. Best stuff they got, Blanchard's seasoning. Get a little of this Blanchard's seasoning on this meat. Yeah, that'd be kind of cooking now. Oh, yeah. Hardly any wind out here, y'all. Hardly any. Now this is the freshest deer you can have, cause yeah. this deer was uh. It was swimming yesterday. Yeah, and then now it's <laughs> now it's swimming again, but it's swimming in onions here pretty soon. Yep, that's the next step I'm doing. Now, I got a little oil in this pot. It's cooking this meat down with some of that seasoning. Now what I'm doing here is trying to brown this. So you brown it without anything in it to start with? No, mm -mm. just 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 flour. Brown the flour. All right. Show y'all something. See y'all. This is basically what you do when you're making a roux. But so we're gonna take a shortcut. Gotcha. I guess you would start off as a dry roux. Yeah. I guess that would be a dry roux, and then you would come well, back and add your juices you know, to you, it. You buy all this uh, roux mix and stuff. All they did was cook your flour, and you add water. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just a matter of what shortcuts you want to take nowadays, you know. You can buy your onions already cut, you can buy everything already done, you know. But the easiest it is to, it, yeah. you know, just to, you can buy it store bought or not, you know. And, and it actually saves you money. So, yeah. It saves yeah. you money if you don't buy it store bought. Well, I always got flour, so. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the things we don't grow. We don't grow flour, but I always got it. So how many coals did you start off with all together, roughly? A bucket full. A whole bucket. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no certain numbers. Okay. A lot to what I'm doing now ain't no certain numbers. Okay. But some uh, of it you can get technical. Some, some of it you get real technical. Like when you cooked them biscuits when we was here last time. Last time you was here cooking biscuits, you want that right. Anything you're baking or something. Yeah. You're going to want that pretty, pretty even. And uh, you could buy, well, I'm actually in the process of making another cookbook. Yeah, with Dutch oven cooking. We didn't throw that out there yet. That uh, you've been doing pretty good with your cookbook. Yeah, uh, I've got. I mean, we sold them all over the country, and the people love it. You know, they keep calling me back, wanting more, wanting one for their brother-in-law, their cousin, or whatever. Uh, it's been really good. You know, it's pretty simple recipes that people, you know, cook. Well, I can't wait to cook something out of yeah. it, y'all. I'm gonna yeah. find me something in there, and I'm gonna cook it at home and uh, do one of your recipes. You're gonna have to come out one day and we we'll cook one of them fatties. Yeah, yeah, that's what we talked about last time. That's that wrapped up yeah. in bacon. Well, all right. Well, I'll tell y'all what, y'all. We're going to get this going. Yep. We're fixing to get set up. We're starting to chop up some peppers. We're going to chop up some mushrooms. The crawfish are soaking. Things are looking good, y'all. Hang on. And when we come back, 
I'm going to show you what's really going on. All right, y'all, we got another big event coming up. It's the Louisiana, South Louisiana Crawfish Balling Contest, and it's benefiting Dreams Come True. And I got Mr. Max Himmel with me, the face of Dreams Come True, and he's going to tell you what Dreams Come True is. Thank you, Rodney. Dreams Come True is an organization based here in South Louisiana that we grant dreams to kids in Louisiana with life-threatening illnesses. Last year, we did 70 kids with life-threatening illnesses. 56 of those kids were Ascension, Livingston, East, and West Baton Rouge. Wow. So we need people to come out. This is local money supporting local kids, granting local dreams. Awesome, y'all. And it's not only a crawfish balling contest, it's a crawfish eating contest, it's a karaoke contest, it's a big car show, it's a big craft show, we've got powered parachutes, we're going to have a 50 style pinup contest, we've got a silent auction, we've got a 50 50 raffle, we're going to have a band at the end, a bunch of neat stuff. We're going to have a kids' playland, even, y'all. Come out and get you some beer, get you some cold drinks, get you some good food for a good cause. April 11th at Lamar Dixon. We'll be selling the crawfish to the public cheaper than the going rate. So come out and support your local dreams come true. Thank you, Rodney, to you and your listeners. We couldn't do it without y'all. Thank you. Gavis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials, 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Cuts and Such Hair Salon is a full service Paul Mitchell focused salon. We stay up to date on new trends with continuing education through Paul Mitchell. Call or come by and experience a family-friendly atmosphere. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, Bruce, we got the flour in there now. Yeah, got the flour. Uh, I'm cutting up some of these carrots and potatoes. Uh, I got to add a little water. Got to put my onions. I got my onions cut up. I mean, my carrots cut up. Probably going to put these onions first. I'll go ahead and dump them in there. Okay. And uh, I like to let this be sizzling. Yeah. Let your onions smother down. Yeah, I got to turn up the fire a little bit here. <laughs> turn up the fire. I love that. Charcoal's under. Now we got the crawfish soaking. We got the stew going. We're fixing to get the rest of the stuff in the craw in the deer stew. Some coming. The junior brought us, sent us some steaks from Junior's Smokehouse, y'all. Really, really nice. Junior's Meat Market, and he's also a smokehouse. That's what made me say that. Junior's Meat Market, bro. He's got the best steaks you ever wanted to see. They do sausage there too, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they do deer also. Oh yeah. You okay. know. Maybe you'll have Ooh. to bring a deer over there too. I might bring one here, one there, one everywhere. I got plenty of deer. Plenty, <laughs> plenty. You got a couple ice chests full, y'all. We have a, a, a cook-off over at Junior's Meat Market every year. We do a steak cook-off over there. Oh. And everybody bought their steak from there. And y'all, it's the most amazing steak. You can cut this thing with a spoon. Uh-oh. Yeah. So we're going to be cooking steaks here too. Uh, 
We're actually going to be getting some lobster balling too. We got a lobster sauce we're going to make to go over the fried backstrap that we're going to do. Mm. So um, I don't think we're going to be hungry tonight. No, I don't think so. Uh, uh, I don't have to be hungry to eat. <laughs> uh, that's something I got with me. Uh, that thing in the, your stomach that tells you you're full, yeah. mine broke. It broke. It broke a long time ago. Gotcha, gotcha. So, all right, you got, you're going to be putting the water in? Yeah. You're going to be putting the... Um, I'm fixing to add a little water now. If you can look in here, this this is... You know, I took took that that, that flour. I already had this meat simmering down in oil. Mm -hmm. It's regular cooking oil. And I brought my flour, and I put it in here. So, basically, it looks like a roux. Right. Okay, right. that's all you do. I just cut out a step instead of... Right, we saved about 35, 40 minutes yeah. of our life. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so what I'll do now is I'll add a little of this water here. Okay. And uh, that's going to be my gravy. Yes, indeed. I like to stir that in and get it cooking. Oh, yes, indeed. I, I can smell it coming out mm -hmm. of there. That smells good. I think I need a little more of that seasoning. A little more of that seasoning. A little Blanchard's blend. Yeah, I like that stuff. Can't go wrong with that. No, he's he's got that perfected. All right, y'all. We're getting things put together. We're fixing to get the carrots and potatoes in there. Things are looking better. We're getting a lot closer to eating, y'all. Hang on. As a matter of fact, here we are. Hunting season ended Saturday. Yeah. The Super Bowl was yesterday. Yep. So the hunting's over. Football's over. There ain't nothing left but to cook. Nope, that's all we got to do right now. <laughs> Well, the fish are starting to hit a little bit now, pretty good now. The fishing's good. Yeah. But, you know, we're yeah. winding down right now. we got to rest a day or two. But we still got to eat while we rest. Yeah, I'm with you on that. You been learning any new recipes while you're out on the road? Uh, out and about on the road? I heard you say you was coming up with another cookbook. Yeah. Uh, well, there's so many people. We, we go around a lot. We do a lot of camping, you know, and we ain't a camper. And uh, just because we're on the road going to a event or something don't mean we're not going to cook. Right. You know, we got to cook wherever we at. Right. And uh, so everybody seeing me cooking these Dutch ovens and stuff, and people just don't realize you can do that, you know. <laughs> they think you got to cook on the stove. Yeah. And, you know, I don't want to, you know, drive somewhere and be up in the mountains or wherever. And, be, you know, if I'm going to sit in my camper and cook, I might as well stay home. Yeah. I like to get out and I got, you know, woods in the background or whatever, you know. It just it makes it. I think that's what my problem is. That's why the people come to me because they smell it. <laughs> 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 but I'd rather, you know, be cooking outside. Well, how was your Christmas this year? Oh, we had a ball. Uh, you had a Merry Christmas? A very Merry Christmas. Got me this big new stove here. Yeah. My wife bought me a couple new pots. Uh, got some new clothes. All right. A couple new pair of overall. So I'm set. Got you. You ready for another season, huh? Got me a new boat motor. Come on. Yeah. So that was a new boat I was standing, a new motor I was standing by over no, there a while ago. No, that hasn't even come oh. in yet. Oh, we don't even have it here yet. No, it's, this is from my frogging boot. Well, I got this lobster cut up here. Well, that's just stuff simmering. I got your mushrooms and peppers, you got too. got them cut. Just dump them in here and get them simmering, too, which is just butter and onions and cooking. Now, Add uh, a little garlic in there. All right. Stir this in and get this. Y'all, this is the lobster sauce that we're going to put on top of our fi fried backstrap. So, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. When we was talking about what we like to eat, lobster came up and backstrap came up too. So, Ain't we might as well combine them together. Yeah. Something we didn't say. I, I, there went not too much lobster meat in them tails, so I'll put some of that. Yeah, crab meat? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Which yeah. makes a good salad and all oh, kind yeah. of stuff, but this will make that. this a little more hearty. I use that a lot. It's cook down now. All right, y'all. Well, we, we got the sauce cooking down. We got everything soaking. The crawfish have come out. We got potatoes coming out. We got the corn coming out. Tell you what's next. We're fixing to throw some steaks on the grill, and it's fixing to get even better. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. Hi everyone, Sweet here from the Sweet and Salty Show. Super excited to tell you about the South Louisiana Crawfish Boil Craft and Car Show here at Lamar Dixon from 9 to 5 Saturday, April the 11th. 
salty. What are you doing? We're trying to tape. But we're trying to tape a commercial here. I'm getting my car ready for the car show. You know, the one you're DJing and it's hosted by us, Sweet and Salty. Oh, you mean I'm supposed to be here? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, you mean the one with a 50s style pinup contest and benefiting dreams come true. Yeah, so ladies, make sure you bring your red lipstick and your high heels. Yeah, and the open car show. So if it's got wheels, bring it. Vehicles, $20 early registration, $25 a day of the event. Pinup girls, register the day of the event. So bring that red lipstick, those high heels, and the 50 spin up attire. For more information, find the event page or find us, Sweet and Salty Show, on Facebook. See you there. See ya. in the wild seafood and Cajun meats now has more to offer. The same high quality seafood, live and boiled crawfish, crabs, sack oysters, frog legs, shrimp, gator meat, gar balls, and local catfish just to name a few. Now selling your favorite smokehouse products. Homemade sausage and andouille, beef jerky, stuffed pork chops and chickens, fried boudin balls, cracklings, and much more. Now processing your deer and hogs. And come check out our new seating area. RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories. With essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, cleaning supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. River Rats Bar and Grill, an oasis on the A Meat River, located in French Settlement off Highway 16. Hashtag best place to eat and party. With amazingly delicious original and traditional food. Indoor and outdoor seating with a friendly and entertaining staff. Open seven days a week with happy hour Monday through Friday and game day specials. So come by car, bike, or boat. You won't forget the fun times you've had at River Rats Bar and Grill. All right, y'all, we got another cook-off plan. It's the Lutcher Gramercy Lions Club. It's a couchon delay. It's April 12th, and it's going to be a big, good time. They got a good food. They got a... Crackling cook-off. Crackling cook-off. Yes, sir, we do. We have a crackling cook-off, and uh, we challenge anyone to come out and challenge our best cooks and hope to see you there. Yes, indeed. They got a big auction, too. We also have a live auction starting at 4 p.m., and we also have live music from 2 to 6, Kenny Cornette and Killing Time, and we have a washerboard tournament also. Yes, indeed. April 12th, Lutcher Park. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, Bruce. Now we're going up another. We're kicking it up another notch. Oh, now yeah. we got some uh, some steaks we're fixing to put in. He said he's ready to add the uh, whipping cream to his sauce there. Yep. Man, that's a good good hearty sauce. There. I can smell that coming out of there. I don't know if it's the mushrooms or the lobster or something. Something's coming out it's of there all smelling over. good. All of it. That must be everybody together. Now, uh, when you cook a steak. Uh, how you like your steak? Um, actually, in a restaurant, I order it medium. Do you? Yeah. I do too. I do too. Uh -huh. I want it just uh, just where it's not bleeding. You know, yeah. I want some juice now. Yeah. I gotta have plenty of juice. Yeah. No better time than the present, huh? Ain't no way to do it, but one way, boy. That's some juicy meat there. That is. It's hard to beat them steaks. <laughs> When I asked Junior, I said, Junior, what do you put on your steaks? He says, salt and pepper, and I might scare it with garlic. That's it. Yeah, you, all you need. a good piece of meat don't need any doctoring up at all. Now, you buy an old piece of shoe meat. Yeah, well, then you got to make some gravy for that. Yeah, you better soak that <laughs> thing in something. All right, well, we're going to get the flip of these steaks over. Yep. We're going to pull the sauce off. We're going to get some grease heating up, and we're fixing to do some backstrap, y'all. Man, we finally get to sit down and eat. 
You ready? Finally, yeah. What you trying? I'm gonna try this back strap. Me with too. Sauce on it and see how that is. Come on, sauce, get up here. Mmm. Shipping and handling free. Man, that's good. That sauce. Back strap's good Amazing, by itself. Man. Easy sauce, y'all. Easy, easy to do. Nothing to it. Easy. I gotta try the steak. Oh, I can tell by just cutting this steak. Man. Thanks, Junior. Mm. That's good. That's good. Just salt and pepper, y'all. Salt and pepper. That's all you put That's on there. That's all that. you need on a good piece of good meat. Now, if you get a piece of bad meat, you can put other <laughs> stuff. This meat is good. I say we try these crawfish. Now, now, you cook these, mm -hmm. and I cook these, so we're going to see how they go. So let's try that. I'm ready, almost. These are the ones I cooked here. Mm. That's what I cooked here. Let me try yours. Let me try a couple of your ones. I know what mine tastes like. Mm -mm. This is yours, right? Yeah. That's uh, that's some big crawfish. Hole in the wall. Mm. Appreciate it. I actually like mine better. You like yours better? I wasn't gonna I say. I mean, yours are doing. Yeah, I thing, like but... mine a little bit better, you know. Yeah. But yours, it's it's good, you know. They good. It's edible, but yeah. <laughs> this is real. I say we dig into some of this stew. Well, I forgot about that. Yeah, we got so much other stuff going on. We didn't even get to try the stew. Going that away. Mm-hmm. She's just a good old deer stew. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like yours better. <laughs> Fresh carrot. That's good, bro. Y'all, it's hard to beat this kind of cooking. Mm. Crawfish. Oh, we got these little fingerling potatoes. Back we didn't even tell about the corn. Yeah. Didn't even tell about the corn yeah, either. I forgot about the corn. The can of corn. Y'all, we just take the can, punch holes in it, tear the label off and drop it in there and just let it cook. That's the easiest way if you don't have corn on the cob, but uh, man. Corn on the can. Corn on the can. <laughs> <laughs> just pull it out and add your butter or whatever you want to put to it. Man, this is some good groceries. Little fingerling potatoes. Mm. Purple, purple potato. That backstrap is. Man, it's hard to beat the backstrap. Well, you can only beat it with the steak or the crawfish, <laughs> but. <laughs> I don't know. And then your wife made us some really good tea. Oh, she can make tea. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. We can sit here and eat all day and shoot the breeze, but uh, we probably got to share some of this, Bruce. Why? <laughs> keep on shooting. <laughs> the more we shoot, the more we get to eat. That's why I said keep on shooting. <laughs> Son of a gun. Y'all, been a good day. Good food. Good people. Brother, I enjoyed it. Man, me too. And I'm still enjoying it. Keep on enjoying it. And hey. When the camera goes off, I'm still going to be enjoying it. He's still eating. He's going <laughs> to keep eating. We <laughs> might not share with y'all, y'all, everybody back there, but uh, he's still shooting. eating. We know what we're doing. Hmm. Well, thank y'all. Had a great time cooking with Bruce, and thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.